In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to use the Blend tool to create text with 3D effect. First, you will see how to use the Pencil tool to quickly trace hand lettering, and then I will show you useful tips and hints on how to get the best results using the Blend tool. You are watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on! As you can see, I already placed Pencil sketch here. Let's create new layer. I will rename it according to this first word, well. Now with fill color icon selected, click here on None, hold Alt and use scroll to zoom in. Press N for Pencil tool, then press Enter, place this slider on Smooth, then repeat all these settings, click OK, pay attention that I am using mouse, not tablet, and that doesn't mean that we can't trace these letters. Do it like this. As you can see, everything is automatically smoothed. If you see sharp corners, properties, stroke, and select round join. If you will deselect letter, we'll press M for pencil tool, and we'll try to continue, you will start to draw new line. We don't need this, so select this line, and continue. If you will see something like this, you can edit it with Direct Selection tool, just press A. Move points and handles. In some cases, Pencil tool will work for you well, in some cases not. What I recommend you is to use Pen tool, it's much more professional. You don't need to be too precise with Pen tool, because later you can return and play with Direct Selection tool. You can even try to delete some points. Now what you will need to do, L4 Ellipse tool, let's swap fill and stroke, gradient, linear gradient, let's pick this slider, color picker, I will pick red color, for this slider, I will pick yellow color according to reference. Let's select this shape, hold Alt, start to move it to the right and hold Shift also. After this, don't go to any blending setups, don't change anything. Simply pick Blend tool, click on this shape, and after this on this shape. And we are OK with this result. Because with this result, there is no way for your computer to run slow. You can see that we have two specified steps here. But if you will have 800, for example, you will see this smooth result, but you don't need it right now at all. This is what I tried to show you in this reference. When you're still in progress, when you want to experiment with your shape, when you want to play with colors, with some different blendings, you need to have low steps value. Blending won't be so smooth, but you will still see results. And after you will be happy with the result, you can always select shape, double click on blending tool, and apply any value you want. Let's select this path, object, blend, Replace Spine. After this, double click on Blend tool. Let's enter 500 here. 500 will be enough. We can decrease it even to 400. And in this case, computer won't be slowed down, whatever you do. So after we applied this blend to this path, we still have these two ellipses. Here they are. And if you will increase size for some of them, you can see what we will get. I pick one of them with Direct Selection tool, then V for Selection tool, and transform it. You can also rotate ellipse, and you can see what amazing results can we get. You can also even change proportions, like this, and you will still have amazing blend. Let's continue with the other word, create ellipse. I will pick gradient from this one, then I will duplicate it here, press Ctrl plus D, after this blend tool, click on each one of them, now let's select this path, this blend, object, blend, replace spine, then double click on blend tool, preview, I will enter 500, 500 is too much in this case, 200 will work the best. Now as we have more points to manipulate, we can change this path like this. Pick any point you want, 
rotate it, change proportions. You can even add more points. Here you can see what happens. Let's pick this shape and rotate it. This is not all. You can even pick some shape and simply change color for it. Like this, for example. What else can you do? Let's pick this shape. Object. Blend. First of all, you can reverse front to back. And second, you can reverse spine. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.